Hello friends and welcome to the Architecture Enthusiast. Carlo Scarpa's contribution to the annals of architectural history isn't merely that of a designer, it's of a poet, a philosopher, a visionary who orchestrated a harmonious symphony of aesthetics, emotions, history, and profound sensuality. His oeuvre, a tapestry of tactile and immersive experiences, stands as an embodiment of the delicate interplay between form and function, between the corporeal and the ethereal. With Venice as his muse, Scarpa's works echo the rhythms of a city cradled by waters. Every building, every space he conjured, reflected the rich tapestry of Venice, a city where ancient stones whisper tales of yesteryears, and waterways hum the songs of time's ceaseless march. His creations mirrored the city's ethereal duality, its balance between the ephemeral and the eternal, its dance of historical grandeur with the timeless cadences of waves and tide. In Scarpa's world, the architectural narrative was intricately layered, woven with threads of history, culture, and an unparalleled attention to detail. He perceived details not as mere addenda to a structure, but as its very heartbeat. These details, whether grand or diminutive, thrummed with an almost tactile sensuality. His spaces weren't crafted merely to be seen, they beckoned to be touched, to be felt, to be experienced in their entirety. From the precise contours of a staircase that entreated the souls to relish the embrace of stone or wood, to door handles that felt like hand-forged gems, every touchpoint in his design was a testament to craftsmanship, dedication, and profound beauty. This profound understanding of materiality was one of Scarpa's defining legacies. He transformed materials from mere structural elements into eloquent storytellers. Brass, stone, wood, glass, each, under his masterful touch, began to narrate tales. Tales of places, of epics, of dreams dreamt and yet to be. The play of sunlight on a meticulously designed brass railing, the gentle caress of water on a stone's edge, or the intricate shadow patterns created by a well-placed lattice, all spoke of Scarpa's deep connection with his chosen materials. But his genius wasn't confined to the tangible. Scarpa was a masterful choreographer of light and shadow. His spaces, through strategic apertures and reflections, transformed into theaters where light performed its daily ballet with shadows. The result? An ever-evolving mural of illumination and obscurity, ensuring each encounter with a Scarpa space was unique, drenched in an ephemeral magic. Equally significant was his orchestration of sound. The rhythmic murmur of water, the subdued rustle of vegetation, the distant echo of footsteps, all were integral to the Scarpa experience. These sounds, curated with deliberate intent, added another layer to his sensory canvas, enveloping visitors in an auditory embrace that harmonized with the visual and tactile. Diving deeper into Scarpa's philosophy reveals an engagement with themes of impermanence, continuity, and the cyclical dance of time. Modern in approach, yet rooted deeply in historical narratives, his designs bridged epics. They stood as silent sentinels to the past while echoing the aspirations of the contemporary. In them, one could sense the cyclical dance of eras gone by and the unfolding symphony of moments yet to dawn. In a realm where architecture often borders on the impersonal, Scarpa's edifices emerge as living entities. They breathe, they emote, and they converse. Through his meticulous details, fluid spaces, and sensual materiality, Scarpa illustrated that architecture, at its zenith, possesses the power to resonate deeply, to connect with our very essence. His works remind us that buildings aren't just about brick and mortar, they're about soul, stories, and an eternal embrace of the senses. As we stand today, amidst the cacophony of modern life, spaces like those crafted by Scarpa serve as sanctuaries. They are oases of calm, of contemplation, of connection. They beckon us to pause, to touch, to feel, to remember. Through his legacy, Scarpa not only gifted the world with architectural masterpieces but also with timeless reminders of the profound potential spaces hold, the potential to engage, to evoke, to inspire, and to transcend the boundaries of time, urging us to not just exist but to experience, to dream, and to cherish the beauty that lies in details, in stories, and in the silent songs of structures.